Hello everyone, welcome. It's me, Nintendo LPRZ Dude, and I'm here with the next episode of my Let's Play of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we uh, activated all the terminals on the Divine Beast Va Meadow. And in this episode, we are going to be activating this, so I'll turn off the commentary for now, and well, let you guys watch. thing is one of Ganon's own, and it plays dirty. He defeated me 100 years ago, but only because I was winging it. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but you must avenge me, Link! And avenge you we shall! This here is the scout, the scourge of Divine Beast Va Meadow, Wind Blight Ganon! All right, so your basic strategy here will be there we go. Will be to just attack him with your bomb arrows and any arrows you have using the lifts like that. Ouch, that actually hurt me. Every so often he'll go up and high up in the sky. Let's uh, get time. Thinking you can actually stop me, eh? Alright, so, uh... Hey, he out-predicted me that time. Alright. You actually want to avoid those. They aren't that hard, though, because... <gasps> and I was actually afraid I was going to get hit by that just to win there because I was actually like, oh no. Ouchies. Good thing I have plenty of food. Alright, let's go back on to this. Alright. Second round. Watch your blind spot. To be honest. Both my let's play and what? Not this was my um. Hold on. There you are. This was my second divine uh divine beast taken back. My let's play or my personal save I actually used um got um the Zora one back first, but yeah. Let's go. Before he can actually hit us with that, let's go. Damn it. Heal up first as well. One hit away. Dead.
Well, I'll be plucked. You defeated him, eh? Who would have thought? Well done. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale! It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Chasm. Feel free to thank me now. Or, never mind, just go. Your job is far from finished, you know. The princess has been waiting an awful long time. Sights are now set. You'll have a precise speed on Ganon from this vantage point. And when the time is right, give him everything you've got. Now we wait for that perfect moment. <laughs> Meadow, we've been artfully patient for the last 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. After all these years, I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast, and accomplished something that even I could not. Guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. I hope that luck holds out, Link, for everyone's sake. All right, so we finished with that divine beast. 
Let me just check something right now. Just want to make sure. All right, good. It's not that far down. Then. All right. I just want to make sure because if I have to re-record, it's best for me to make sure that it, there are enough safe files. Anyways, so let's talk to him. You have done it, and you survived at that. You conquered Divine Beast Von Metal. To think the beast has taken up roost at the top of the village. It looks simply divine. If the legends are true, the light from the Divine Beasts will ravage the Calamity. For now, Divine Beast Von Metal will become the protector of this village and live on in legend. Alongside you. <laughs> Oh, oh, yes, of course. I must reward you properly. Feel free to take what you find in that treasure chest. You will get more use out of it than I. What, what you did was miraculous. Though I should expect nothing less than one of the bloodline of a champion. Why, you are almost the equal of the very Hylian champion who fought with Master Rivali 100 years ago. All you lack is the sword that seals the darkness. They say the Hylian champion wielded the sword that seals the darkness that now sleeps deep within the forest. So, we did that part of the main quest. Let's open this up, and within it is the Great Eagle Bow! A bow without equal, wielded by the Rito champion Rivali. It said Rivali could lose arrows with the speed of a gale, making him supreme in aerial combat, but our inventory is full. Well, let's decide. What can we do with that? This one is already nearly damaged, so bye-bye. Let's go through that again. And there's the Great Eagle Bow again. So we got it. Um, So that'll do it for this episode. In the next episode, we are actually going to be making our way to a certain horse goddess. That You heard me right. There is a horse goddess in this game. And so, yeah, as I said before, there's nothing holding us back. We didn't really need any sort of special equipment to actually board the this Divine Beast. So, uh, you know, anything like the Thunder Helm. So, you know, you know, Debo was able to just fly up with us on his back. We, are, we were able to use our sailcloth. He didn't need any sort of like, oh, I need this bomb protective armor because bomb, because lasers are deadly or something like that. Hell no. He just flew up, took those blasts like a boss. And, uh, yeah, so next episode we are actually able to leave this place without doing anything more. We got the weapon from the Rito Champion Rivali. Do we still have the Scimitar of the Seven? Yes, we do. We still have each of the gear. Nice. Um, so we're going to begin making our way to that horse goddess, actually. You know, so we could heal up and, uh, just, well... Or so we could revive Lily. Or Dura. I forget, forget what I called her. Maybe Lillian. But anyways, you know, the horse that died a few episodes ago. So I'll see you guys then. This has been Nintendo LPRZ Dude. And I'll see you guys next time. Comment, like, subscribe, and check the description for uh, various links to my social medias. And uh, for the link to the Discord chat. I really can't wait to get to know each of you. By the way, I'm recording this all in a row, so, you know, from like 19, so 19 and 20 are recorded all together, so just putting that out there. So, yeah, I, you know, at this point in recording, I really can't wait to get to know each of you guys, and, well, who knows, maybe, you know, we could set up some sort of collaboration. I'll see you guys then. This has been Nintendo Pierce, like I said plenty of times, so I'll just end this now. Bye, guys.